Okay, so on D, we've got secant of an angle times the sine of the same angle is supposed to be equal to negative 2 times the sine of the angle. Okay, so I will tell you, when you have a question like this, it's either on your quiz or your test or both, in most years, at least half the class divides both sides by sine, or you know whatever the question's about, and they get some of the work right and some of it not. But I really tried to highlight that extra this year in your notes, that dividing by a variable is going to make you lose an answer. So if you can't divide by sine, the next best thing is to add this over so that it's set equal to zero. Having an equation set equal to zero makes it a lot easier to solve because there's special stuff about zero that other numbers don't have. Now when I look at these, <coughs> this has a sign in it and that has a sign in it. So we can factor out a GCF, which is why we asked you to review factoring recently. And now since it's this factor times that factor equals zero, it could be when this factor equals zero or when this factor equals zero. And then this one needs to be solved. Okay, so I can quickly tell you where sine is zero from the unit circle. That would be at zero and pi. And over here, I don't know secant values, but I can take the reciprocal of both sides and see that it's the same thing as cosine of negative one half, which is two pi over three and four pi over three. So since there's four locations here, you could get your answer with four equations it's kind of tedious, but 0 plus 2 pi n, pi plus 2 pi n, 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n, and 4 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n. Because there's four places. Now, I can't do anything about these two because these are not equally spaced out. The difference in radians between those angles is not the same as the difference between those and those radians. So these two are done, but these two you could reduce into a single statement because they're equally spaced out by pi radians. So you could just say the first one, which is zero, and then instead of adding two pi radians, just add one pi radians. So those, those three are probably what I have listed on the solutions. <clears throat> okay, do you have something more s specific in there, Eric, or did I get you past? No, I just, the thing into like, taking one of sine out and putting the sine back into the sine. Just thinking to factor it? Yeah, that's Yeah, factoring needs to be really high on your list of things to consider. Factoring is very important for solving. And most important on this question, if you divided both sides by sine, uh, please don't do that. You need to make yourself, make yourself a note. It's top of your page, write out, don't divide both sides by a variable, because you're easily going to lose some points doing that. <clears throat>